Today we'll be exploring a mid-century modern mansion that was built in 1965. It was lived in by a painter and then abandoned in 2020. Then for a short time, a Chinese family moved in when it was abandoned again more recently. According to the YouTuber Ethan Minnie, Bob Ross used to live here. Look, uh, I don't know if he lived here or not, but uh, I'm putting him in the thumbnail. Enjoy the video, guys. So upon further research, Bob Ross has nothing to do with this place, so I think it'd be pretty dishonest if I added that in the thumbnail. What I could find about the previous owner, however, was that he was from Italy, and uh, he did in fact hand paint those uh, paintings on the house. Anyways, let's get into the video. Oh, this is too easy. <laughs> The front door, you think? Oh, look, it's open right here. Whoa, look at this. Look, they got like a pond here. Sweet. Oh my gosh. Yo, get. Does this like anywhere inside though? Can you get the flashlight out. Yeah, it has to, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a, there's a door right here. All right. Forgot to mention, I'm here with uh, Silent Hills Exploration. He's on my uh, trip to Canada where we came here together. But yeah, what is this? Three car garage right here. You got that gate there. Let's continue. Oh wait, this goes outside. All right, well, let's go out the other way if we can. I think, yeah, I think this is abandoned so we don't even have to worry. This one's abandoned too. Check out this pool. We gotta go down there later, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, terracotta roof. Extremely valuable roof. So guys, I think I've started to learn. They put these uh, boards around to protect the native trees, which is something I've never seen. In America, they just destroy the trees. There's no like protection to them, but during demolitions, they try to save them, I think. So that's why this is up. But guys, check this out. Let me really show you the scale of this. Oh my gosh. It's huge. Oh, I just see a jacuzzi already right in there. Yeah. Guys, imagine. Dude, this pool's actually giant. Imagine, uh, I don't, yeah, dude, this is like a above average pool right here. I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna go see if some doors are open. I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you guys when we get inside. Well, that did not take very long at all. This is pretty cool. <laughs> Doesn't even smell abandoned. Yeah, it smells abandoned. Really? It smells like early abandoned, like an old lake house. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's starting to decay. I mean, look in the corner and stuff. Whoa, this is decently large. You got a statue right here. Yo, come over here. That? Look at this staircase. That's pretty oh, cool. Wow. Nice, man. Nice. Oh, dude. <laughs> this is huge. Oh, my. <laughs> What's over there? Bro, check it. Dude. Whoa. Look up there. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is insane. This is Apparently this mansion was owned by an artist and he painted these himself. 
Look at that. Somebody hand painted this and it's gonna be destroyed. I can't imagine, Somebody's, somebody probably spent years painting this stuff. Maybe not years, but a long time. Wow. This is a grand mansion. Cool little fireplace. This room is sick though. It's like an older style. What would you call it, like 70s? Wow. That's something else. We got some little uh, sculpture here or something. I wonder, that can't be original. That'd be a travesty if it was. And it gets destroyed. That's all this. Huh. They couldn't replace their windows, so they just put glue on it. Not a craftsmanship in here. Oh, wow, I see a uh, kitchen. This is really old style. Most of these mansions are empty. They're all planned developments. So, nothing bad happened here or nothing. Like, they just... Um, Got bought out by a big developer. This is kind of a unique kitchen. I don't know if I've seen one like this actually. Like look, it's stained. This is a nice kitchen though. Look at the size of this island. This has got to be millions. Oh. Wow. That's a beautiful. Loving the skylights of all these mansions so far. Absolutely awesome. Well, it keeps going. Here's this room right here, though. Whoa. Check out this bathroom. Holy. Dude, this is one of the most beautiful bathrooms I've, I've seen in these mansions. Like the blue and the white is perfect. Whoever built this house really cared about it. And really tried to make it look nice, nice. Like they knew what they were talking about, you know? Coloring is so perfect here. Like I'm just, just kind of <laughs> taking this all in right now. That is so cool. <laughs> it's a toilet, but it looks so cool. Like I've never seen a blue toilet like that. Colors are perfect. You'd see, I guess the skylights, like uh, it's a good way for mold to get in. I see mold over the skylights in some of these newer Newly abandoned mansions. What do we got here? Like some plant. This I really like too. This was um wow. I like the look of that. Does this come off? I don't know what this is. Hmm. It's actually a small bathtub. Or a small jacuzzi. I remember there was one in the basement we gotta check out too. So far this house is awesome. I just, <laughs> this is one of my favorite bathrooms of all time. You know, I, I say all these bathrooms are so nice in these houses, they're updated, nice, you know, but this is actually nice. I actually really like this bathroom. It's so nice. And the skylight, I need a skylight in my bathroom guys. Next house I buy, I'm going to put a skylight. 
This is incredible. <laughs> All right, there's still so much to see too, guys. So we'll get going. Back out over here. I wanna check upstairs and see if we missed anything real quick. Expensive fridge. This, this, this really works. This kitchen works, I think. Look what they did here, I just noticed. So you don't bump your head. They put these uh, foam things here. I like that. Oh, I didn't even check out that room. Hold on. Decent. It's all right. Scared me. How do you like it? Dude, you have to check out the bathroom. Really? Yeah, like all the way in the far corner of the house. Okay. It's crazy. Yeah, the right there, also super nice too. Really? Dude, this, the bathroom back there has to be one of my favorite bathrooms of all time, and I'm not even kidding. Really? Yes, dude, the color's perfect. Jeez. Yeah. All right, I'll definitely check it out. Good luck. For sure. Wow, let's There we go, guys. We got the front door right here. Oh, my. Look at this. No way. Guys, all right, something's going on with um, Chinese people in Toronto. Hold on, let me get away from my buddy so I can explain it. All right, I'm back in the bathroom again because I don't want to interrupt my buddy's filming. We're kind of filming separately today, but some guy, we, we talked to one guy, he was the first friendly guy we talked to in Canada, and he told us the reason all these mansions here are abandoned is because the Chinese people are coming here and buying mansions and then going back to China and just letting them sit for 10 years or something like that. Maybe they'll come like once a month, but this is obviously a van and gonna be torn down. They'll sometimes tear them down if it's the right time. But yeah, Chinese people are just coming into Canada and buying up all these mansions and just sitting on them, like for real estate, you know, they're trying to make a profit. But it's, it's interesting, you know, why Chinese, why not Canada people? I don't know, <laughs> Canadian people. <laughs> I don't know what's, uh, well, they're rich, that's the thing. They, these uh, Chinese billionaires, like they're extremely rich people. They're coming down here and doing all that. That's why there's Chinese writing. And I was shocked, like on my maps, nowhere in America do I see like Chinese letters in, um, in, uh, on maps in a Western country. But I saw like there was Chinese like places everywhere. I couldn't even understand it, like locations. It's crazy, <laughs> something's going on here. I got, I got no say on that, but something, it's different than America, let's just say. All right, back to the front door. So they would have had plants here. Cool front door. But this is the bathroom I was just about to check out here. Similar, but I like the other one better. Wow, they had a jacuzzi right in the front door. Why, I wonder why. Because there's no bedrooms here, it's kind of weird. Guys, if you're Chinese, let me know what this says. Probably says something like turn the water off or something. And my flashlight just died again. It overheated. Great. So as we move on to this side of the house, looks like someone punched a hole in the wall actually. Something electrical maybe they were salvaging. They took all the cans out. Another decent room. Oh, no way. Dude, this one's pretty cool too. Oh, more Chinese writing as well. Oh yeah. Actually, let me see if I can get a translator. Oh, I yes. Please not throw paper towels and other debris into the toilet to avoid clogging. 
Huh. <laughs> a boring message, but at least you know what it means. Yeah. Hmm. This, this is hard too. It's pretty fancy. I don't think people walk through here. Oh yeah, probably workers too. Mm -hmm. Dude, how tiny did you have to be to fit in this thing? I don't know. <laughs> I'm six foot tall. I don't think I can fit in here. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, I gotta be bending. Like, actually, it's not bad. I kind of stretch it out, but it's not. It's not comfortable at all. <sighs> Interesting. All right, I think we checked out. Might be a couple more rooms to see. But I believe we checked out the whole upstairs. Oh yeah, there's this one room here. Uh, there's just fiberglass on the floor. I'm I'm looking to really explore the downstairs now. Let's see what's down here. These paintings are so awesome, though. It's a mountain with with an ocean. This has to be like a 60s or a 70s house, I would say. What do you what do you think? Probably double for sure, for sure. Yeah. Do you check this out though? There's definitely a fountain or something over here. A what? A fountain, probably maybe a possibly. Fountain. Where's oh yeah, this is this like maybe a like mini water and then, yeah. I see a hole right there. This There's is a fountain. mini fountain. Yeah, yeah. Oh cool. It's so nice. And there's like the little, um, what do you call it? it was a 70s style thing they had. The little divot in the middle of the living room. Pretty cool. Uh, and then what is that? Is that a pizza cooker or something? What is this? Or is that just a place to store yeah, stuff? They have like a TV over there maybe. Oh yeah, maybe one of those big. sound system because there is an electrical outlet over there. Okay, I see. I don't know though. Yeah. Probably would have been like couches here and stuff. Would imagine, and here's the bar. I don't know if I really showed you guys this. This is uh, like they had like some wine here and stuff. Nicely crafted. I think that's older wood or, or cheap wood. It definitely is, yeah. Huh. Feels really good. Huh. Oh yeah, and I, I was thinking. So you see how there's a window inside the house? I was thinking this was an addition. And they just added this end part later on, and maybe even the pool. I'm not sure. What do you think? I think they definitely did. 100% addition, and I think they definitely added the pool. The pool before was probably just like more land, and you know, since they're making the addition, I'm sure they had some money to spend, so they just went for it. Fair enough. There's this one uh, pretty big room here as well. It was like a secret little back room back here. Let's see what we can find back here. It's falling apart, uh, just storage. Really ugly room. Over here, okay, so this is what I saw in the window, guys. This is like the master jacuzzi. Like hot tub or something. Look at this, y'all. This is awesome. So, it gets cold a lot in Canada, so the pool outside is kind of pointless. So I think that's why this is indoors right now. I don't know. Yeah, this is literally a hot tub, not a, not a bad tub. This is nice. Awesome. And you get a view of the pool if it is summer, you know. You have people chilling in here, people chilling out there, you know. Wow. Do you think this was an addition as well? It or like an original. That's a good question. It must have been. This was probably a ranch home, and and what they did was uh, they they turned um, they just kept adding on to stuff. I mean, it's been years, so they had time to add on, and well, now it's gonna be demolished, so pointless. But I'm sure they they got their money's worth, huh? If they sold, pretty nice though. There's like a little compartment over here actually. Oh, I haven't been one of these since summer. Oh, it's just a pool filter. And this may be the heater. Pretty nice. Here's like the little bathroom nearby. Pretty cool. Pink toilet, I like that. 
Let's see what else we got around here. It's pretty dark. I think my second flashlight might die. We'll see if we can make it out of here. Whoa. I like this. Tiles are great here. Here's a little washing machine area. Another bathroom. I like the look of this. Pretty neat. It's like kind of oriental style. What else we got? A closet. This is a pretty large house. There's definitely more that meets the eye here. It's very compact though. I think it would look better if they just demolished a bunch of these rooms and walls and just made them one big one. Yeah. yeah. You're not wrong. I mean, even still, some of these rooms are giant. Like this one right here. Man. Oh, and you can see how the house used to look like before the addition. You know, oh. Like when they definitely like tore that apart too to make the uh, entryway. Yeah. Do you think this, you think this like brick here was like on the actual outside of the house where they added on? That's not like it was, because if you look up here, you see it continues going up and they just built the, uh, the ceiling like with it. <gasps> yeah. You're right. That's cool. What if these lights were originally outside too? Maybe. What a weird design. I like it though. This is awesome. So the curtains fell. I'm surprised there's like no items left in here. Ultimately, a beautiful house. Sounds like they're right across the street. Yeah. We hear we hear some people outside. Oh, they're waiting for the school bus. Oh. Right in front of the band, it was crazy. At least you're gone now. Yeah. That's pretty funny. Bro, someone's literally still outside. And they, and they saw him. He's just here. They're just dropping their kids off. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. This mansion was a lot bigger than I actually expected. It really doesn't look that big from the outside, but when you go inside, it's, it was pretty crazy. Uh, I was joined by Silent Hills Explorations, guys. Go check out his channel. He makes some great content. Me and him go across the world. We're checking out all of spots. We'll be in Europe pretty soon. That's right. But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Pretty unique mansion, I'd say. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and guys, you can get 30% uh, off on your next purchase if you uh, click the link down below.